Hello everyone, Kit here, back with another video. Um, today if you guys are going to be reading the Vital Statistics Law of 1953, Act of June 29th, 1953. I'll leave a link to this down in the description box below, along with our email. You can email email us at themillions.gmail.com for private consultation. Without further ado, let me get right into it. Providing for the administration of a statewide system of vital statistics, prescribing the functions of the State Department of Health, the State Advisory Health Board and local registrars, imposing duties upon coroners, prothonoraries, clerks of orphans, court physicians, midwives, and other persons, requiring reports and certificates for the registration of vital statistics, regulating the disposition of dead bodies, limiting the disclosure of records, prescribing the sufficiency of vital statistics records as evidence, prescribing fees and penalties, and revising and consolidating the laws relating their, their toll. Article 1. General Provisions. General Provisions short title, the short title of this act is the Vital Statistics Law, vital statistics law of 1953. General Provisions Effective Date Provisions of this act shall become effective immediately upon final enactment. Section 103. General Provisions Saving Clause. The provisions of this act, so far as they are the same as those of acts repeal, we appealed in by this act, are, are intended as continuation of such acts and not new, as new enactments. The provisions of this act shall not affect anything done under the authority of such repelled acts prior to the effective date of this act. All regulations and rules made pursuant to any act repelled by this act shall continue in force until changed by the proper authority named in this act. All certificates and permits actually issued under such repeal act shall continue in force and effect. Section 104. General provisions. Ser servability. Serverability. If any provision of this act or the application of, of any provision to particular circumstances is held invalid, the remainder of the, the remainder of the act or the ap application of such provision to other circumstances should not be affected. Section 105. General provisions. Definitions as used in this act. 1. Department means the state Department of Health. 2. Vital statistics includes the registration, preparation, transcription, collection, complication, analysis, and preservation of data of data pertaining to births, births, adoptions, legitimations, deaths, fatal deaths, martial status, and data incidental thereto. Three, live birth means the expulsion or attraction of, from its mother of a product of conception, irrespective of the period of, of gestation, which, sh which showed any evidence of life at any moment after such expulsion or extraction. For fatal death, fetal death means the expulsion or, sh or extraction from its mother of a product of con conception after 16 weeks gestation which shows no evidence of life after such explosion or extraction. 5. Dead body means a, um, a lifeless human body or such parts of a human body as permit a reasonable inf inference that death has occurred. 6. Fetal means remains means the fetus expelled or extracted in the case of a fetal death as defined by this section. Uh, physician means a person licensed under the laws of this commonwealth to engage as a doctor of medicine in the licensed practice of all the branches of medicine. A person, in, a person licensed under the laws of this commonwealth to engage in the practice of os osteotherapy or osteopathy Orthopedic, third, orthopedic surgery. Immediate family member means grandparents, parents, siblings, grandchildren, spouses, and children. Added December 20th, 1991.
Veteran means a deceased person who qualifies for a burial at a national cemetery under 38 U.S.C. relating to veterans benefits. Veterans service organization means an association, corporation, or other entity that qualifies under Section 501, uh, 33, or 19 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. Of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986, public law as a tax exempt organization that has been organized for the benefit of veteran of veterinarians and recognized or characterized by the Congress of the United States. The term the term includes what is not limited to the disabled American vet, vet, veterans, the veterans of foreign wars, the American. American Legion and the Vietnam Veterans of America. The term also includes a member or employee of an eligible nonprofit veterans Veterans America American America vet, Veterinarian Recovery Program that specifically assists in facilitating the identification and internment of or final disposition of unclaimed remains of, of American Veterans. National cemetery means any cemetery under the control of the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, National Cemetery Administration, added July 5th, 2012. Article 2, State Department of Health, Section 201, Department General Powers and Duties, the Department shall, pursuant to the provisions of this to the provisions of the Act, approve the ninth day of April, 1929, pam pamphlet laws 177 as amended, cited the Administrative Code of 1929, administer and enforce the provisions of this Act and, and the regulations made pursuant there, thereafter, install and maintain a statewide system of vital statistics. B the custodian, the custodian of all vital statistics, files, and records collected, created, or compiled under the provisions of this Act. Section 204. Department forms. The Department shall prescribe the forms for all certificates required by this Act. The Department may prescribe all other forms necessary for collecting, transcribing, compli compiling, Compiling and preserving vital statistics. The department shall include in such forms all standard items which contribute to a uniform, comparable nationwide system of vital statistics. Section 205 Department Regulations. The Advisory Health Board shall make and may amend or repeal regulations for the administration of the provisions of this, of this Act. The Advisory Health Board may make, amend, or reappeal regulations for the administration of a uniform, efficient statewide system of, vita, of statewide system of vital statistics, which will protect the public health and preserve the complete the completeness and integrity of vital statistics records. Section 206, Vital Statistics Improvement Account. There is hereby established in the Vital Statistics Improvement account as a restricted account within the General Fund. Repeal June 22, 2018. Monies paid into the Vital Statistics Improvement account are hereby appropriated upon approval if the Governor to the Department and shall be distributed as follows. Beginning with calendar year 2005, in each calendar year thereafter, one third of the funds transmitted to the department pursuant to Section 304 during the prior calendar year and deposited in the Vital Statistics Improvement Account, and one dollar of each fee received pursuant to Section 804 in the prior calendar year and deposited in the Vital Statistics Improvement Account shall be distributed not later then June 30th, 2005, and each June 30th thereafter, to the country 
coroner or medical examiner of each country of this commonwealth proportionate to the number of deaths in the country as a percentage of the local deaths occurring in this commonwealth in the prior calendar year. Such distribution shall, distribution shall not require a contract in a grant agreement. Funds remaining after the distri distribution under paragraph 1 shall be retained in the vital statistics improvement account and shall be used for administrative expenses of the department for the implementing and maintaining the system, of, system for such payments under paragraph 1 and for improvements to the vital statistics system. County coroners or medical, or medical examiners shall use the funds received under this section for the purposes of laboratory or necrospy room modernization, including supplies, equipment, training in office and laboratory facility improvement, or the modernization of equipment used for forensic investigation. 206 added November 23, 2004. Article 3. Registration District Administration. Section 301. Registration districts creation by department. The department shall divide the Commonwealth from time to time into registration districts which shall conform to political subdivisions or combinations thereof. Section 302. Registration districts, local registrars, appointment and removal of the Secretary of Health shall appoint a local registrar for each registration district. Each local registrar shall appoint a deputy to act in the event of his presence or disability. If the department de determines that the proper and efficient administration of a registration district requires additional personnel, the, depar the department may appoint one or more assistants. No local registrar, deputy, or assistant shall be appointed who does not meet the, the qualifications prescribed by the Advisory Health Board. The department may at any time remove, the remove, remove any local registrar, deputy, deputy, or assistant for cause. The department may abolish the office of any local registrar in the event that the registration district is combined with another. The department may reduce the number of assistants with, with the number may reduce the number of assistants at any time. Any vacancy in the office of local registrar, deputy, or assistant for registration district that exists on or after the effective date of the subsection shall be filled as provided in this section. 302 amended July 5th, 2012, section 303. Registration districts, local registrars, duties, local registrars shall perform the duties imposed upon them by this act under and subject to the supervision of the department. Local registrars shall, shall, shall transmit certificates and transcripts to such places and at such times shall be, as shall be prescribed by the department. Each local registrar shall be paid a fee of $1 each certificate transmitted in accordance with the provisions of this act or for each report of, of no certificates filed during any, during any calendar month. The fees prescribed by this section shall be paid by the Commonwealth from funds appropriated to the department. A local registrar may not be compensated in excess of, of $60,000 in any one calendar year. Compensation shall include fees received from the department under subsection A and retained from requesters under subsection B. Upon reaching the limitation on compensation set forth under clause 1, in any one calendar year the local registrar shall transmit all additional fees received under subsection B to the department for, de for deposit as follows. Three dollars shall be deposited in the Vital Statistics Improvement Fund. Alright, I'm going to end off here. I'm going to make another part to this. And um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.